Before we get into the video people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the latest Apex Legends news and although there isn't that much to go off, we still have a little bit of interesting information that has dropped over the past few days. So let's get into it. Now, over the past two days, like I said, a respawn dev, a respawn manager in a way, has confirmed that new events are coming to the game. Now, this is something I think we all knew was bound to happen. We were just waiting for respawn to make a statement on it. I mean, it's just clear as day i mean the, the game needs new things to play let's not get it twisted people apex legends at the minute is it's dying a slow death not many people are on it at the moment a lot of people are bored um a lot of people have gone back to fortnite or gone back to other battle royale games me personally i mean i took a break from apex legends i ain't bored of it i'm about three quarters of the way through the battle pass i do plan on going back through it uh, because i do want to complete the battle pass but I know a lot of people, I've seen them on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, on Reddit and all over the place saying that the board of the game and it needs an update and this, that and the other. Now since the very, very start we have seen that there has been data mine files suggesting new game modes will come to the game. Things such as solos, duos, uh, team deathmatch, things like 12 on 12, 6v6, 24 on 24 and many other game modes. Now a respawn community manager with a username u slash jfresh on reddit uh, gave players a number of updates on the state of the game's development. Basically he replied to a guy asking this, are you exploring new ways to play? I don't have anything specific in mind. Many people want skill based matchmaking. Some want solos, other want queue sizes. Private matches are another popular idea. I would personally like to see a split queue where players can declare their intent to play aggressively or defensively and be matched with like-minded folks. Another thing you can explore is a deathmatch style game mode in which the players who score the most points become champion. I believe a lot of players are even more hungry for new ways to play than they are for new guns and new legends etc. There are definitely other possibilities here but I trust your team to figure out what's best. J Respawn replies with the short answer of yes, that's all I can say. So he confirms they're exploring more ways to play. I mean, it's been pretty obvious. I mean, from a game development's point of view and from those who look at them, we know they're obviously exploring more ways to play. The question is, when will we get these? Now, today is April 30th. You may have seen my prediction video on what would happen or might happen on April 30th if you missed that. I mean, I would suggest you go check it out, but I'm not sure it's going to happen. What it is, April 30th is midpoint of season one because it ends in 12 weeks. And today, I believe, is the start of the seventh week or sixth week. It's halfway point, just put it that way. So I thought sometime today, I mean, there's still time left. It can still happen, but I thought sometime today we might get a new legend who would be Watson. Also the Alstar, the weapon we are waiting for, and also a new event where we saw in the season one trailer, flyers were teased and somehow they would be in this event or participate in this event. I mean, I believed it would happen midpoint. I mean, it makes sense to me. It would happen midpoint halfway through season one, and that would be today's date. But at the moment, it's literally quarter to 1 p.m. UK time. American time's normally five or six hours behind, depends where you are. So there's still time yet. I mean, the update doesn't normally come to you later on tonight, so it could still happen. But they have mentioned absolutely nothing on Twitter whatsoever. And like I said, I thought today would bring maybe a new game mode, maybe a new limited time mode, which included the participation of these flyers we saw within the season one trailer. But hey, I'm not sure it's going to happen, people. I'm not sure at all. But yeah, it's good to see Respawn have actually confirmed that they are working on new game modes. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so moving on, and although this isn't news or amazing information you must know, it is pretty cool and it's a wonder why it isn't in the game. Basically, a data miner who goes by the name of Monkey Monk, I believe, 
posted a video on Reddit of an unreleased Mirage finisher, which you guys can see on screen now. Now, what you might not know is, is this is actually a tribute to the Joker. If you remember, which is quite a while ago, it was 1989, the Batman which starred Jack Nicholson as the Joker. This is the way he finishes off somebody to a T within the film. And when you compare them side by side, as you'll see on the screen now, there's no denying it, people. So a Mirage finisher, which is tributed to the Joker. Absolutely amazing. Why did they not put this in the game? Or maybe, people, maybe it may be coming soon as a new execution for Mirage. We just do not know that yet. But it is a great tribute to an amazing character played by an amazing actor. Definitely up there with my top three Jokers of all time. Saying that Heath Ledger, the guy from Gotham, and Jack Nicholson are my fave. But yeah guys, that is basically it. Not much news to be honest in the world of Apex Legends at the moment. It all has gone a little quiet in terms of Respawn making any announcements or updates. So maybe, just maybe people, something may just drop very very soon indeed. But guys, if it does, as you know, I will have you covered right here on my channel. So subscribe if you are new around here. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out if you're new around here. And enjoy Apex Legends videos normally on a daily. Be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.